Hi, I'm Nikki Townsend, and you're watching the Artistics Talent Show with Melvin Isaac on BCAP. Today we're looking at some wonderful pieces of art that are all done by Mr. Melvin Isaac himself. Um, right here, we have a wonderful piece. It's um, one of my favorite pieces. It's got three dancers, and they look so graceful. It's done in black and white pencil. Um, Mr. Isaac has brought just such a gracefulness out of these dancers. You see the woman lean back and it just, it just looks so wonderful. It could go in any room of your home. Then we come down to the piece beneath it, which is also one of my favorite pieces. Uh, I like to think about sometimes, especially looking into her eyes and seeing the colors behind it. I see me back in Africa in a tribe and I see her looking down at maybe her own newborn child and wondering what his future will be like, wondering what her future will be like. And I see her strong Mandingo warrior beside her, just there to protect her, there to stand beside her. So this piece actually brings out so much emotion in me, but you may look at it and see something different. But that's the wonderful thing about art. We can all look at a piece of art and it can pull out different emotions from within us, from our past, or it can take us to a new future. Each person can look at this and see something, something different. Over here, I'd like to take you over to the praying hands. This is a more of a traditional piece. When you see the praying hands, you see Jesus, you see comfort, you see the Lamb of God. You see so many different things when you look at that piece. It's just something that comforts a lot of people. Um, I love to look at it because you don't know whether those hands are black or white. You don't know whether those hands, um, what race they are, what history. All you see is the comfort of your father, the comfort of the father looking down on you. And it just, it just, it just brings out a warmth within you. Up here is some of our black leaders, historically African-American leaders that have taken us through the years of civil rights and through everything. We've got Dr. Martin Luther King, we've got Frederick Douglass, we've got uh, Malcolm X, Marcus Garvey. This piece is just amazing um, because it takes you through your history in America as blacks and what we've gone through to get to where we are today. Um, if you look and see, Melvin Isaac's art is all a variety a variety of different pieces that can take you through your history to where you could be in the future. Um, I love this, it's the communication drum, that's the name of this piece. It's a wonderful piece because you see different faces, you see a lion in the background, you see just all types of forms of what African Americans are. Um, over here, you'll see Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. You'll see a piece of uh, Mr. Isaac himself. Like I said, if you're looking for great art, if you're looking for pieces to purchase, contact Melvin Isaac. You'll see the information come across the screen. Thank you for watching. Please join us again next time. That's great. So in three different color tones, and then you combine them. That's marvelous. Yeah. I don't even know that that could be done really. Oh, yeah, that actually, you know, there's a lot of things. The only thing that I always wanted to do was to do a regular photography, and I never had the camera. It was like the double exposure.
Okay, as you can see, it's only one half of the drawing with charcoal. And this is a family of five, which is right here is on a 11 by 14 drawing paper and it's also in color pencil and black and white. This is a picture and artwork of a clown. This next picture is a drawing of a Valentine's sweetheart where you see the male has a lollipop that she thinks she's given but in his other hand he has the roses and this is for a sweetheart on Valentine's Day or any day. The medium I use for this is oil. So this is on a canvas stretcher and it's oil. Okay, uh, how the world doing out there? My name is Melvin Eisen and I'm an artist, a BCAP producer for Brooklyn Community Assets Television. Now, there's a couple things I'm about to do. First, I'm getting ready to draw this very beautiful, pretty young black person over here. And then I'm gonna be talking about my art. I'm gonna be talking about a few things. And my story is very interesting because I'm seeing art. I'm telling you about art the way I see it through my eyesight. Now, how I get this particular information is because I follow the old masters. You're going to be seeing some of the pictures that she's holding up right now before I start to draw her. But some of the old masters is like Leon da Vinci, Pablo Picasso. Uh, you heard this famous Norman Rockwell. And one of the things that I'm going to be using is uh, Daniel Green method of drawing a perspective. The way I'm going to have her draw is going to go through the proportion, portion of length. And you will see her quit the way I would do it. But the first thing I want to do is talk about the art while I'm drawing the perspective of her. So this art right here that I'm talking about is the uh, Black Queens of Africa. Now these are American black queens that you want to see. And this is us. These are the sisters that you see out here. Right here, this is a drawing. And what this is, is African drums. And to go back into perspective, into our history, this is what we knew. Because we told, we told our stories, we actually uh, gave signals, and we tell you if anybody else is coming into the neighborhood and we actually play our music. All of this is through our drum. So actually, I did this picture at least about, i say about six, seven years ago. Now, I took my picture and put it in the outfit of a king. And the reason why I did that, because this is the way I see myself. And this is the way I want uh, you to see yourself as a king. Linda, Linda, how are you today? I'm okay. Great. Okay, is this the first time you've ever done this before? Uh, yeah, so spontaneous, yeah. <laughs> so spontaneous. And are you familiar with black art? Like, are, who are your favorite artists? Do you have any? Uh, basically the well-known ones. Well -known uh, ones. Yeah, the like, Picasso's. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah, Monet. Gotcha. Okay, so what do you think about this art that has been displayed uh, by Melvin Isaac? Would you buy something like this? Definitely, because it shows a piece of our history and it really accentuates us as a people. Okay. Okay, and what about the, the, his theme, you know, with empowerment, feeling empowered, you know, we are somewhat gods of our own. What do you think of that theory? Uh, I think it's um, a, pretty, uh, a pretty strong point of view, and uh, I would definitely hang this in my house to show, you know, my son that, you know, he is, he is strong and he's powerful just through art. Okay, great. Thank you for being so patient. Thank you. Okay.